Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here in my Let's Play world and I've got 10 tips for those of you that are working on some farming villages like I am, just to help you with your detail. So here they are. Number one, if you're using hay roofs, you can give it a real organic looking style by using this sort of spammy uh, method here. You can see how I've done it. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I did it. The only tip that I can really give you is I try to make sure that uh, the blocks from one row don't match a block the blocks from another row in comparison you can see a few houses over here that I'm working on that don't have this done to them they just look a little too neat and clean for thatch roofs for my taste and you can see from down here where you're normally gonna be walking they look pretty good from down here in my opinion. Number two, if you have long fields of wheat like this, you can really break them up by adding walls at all the changes in elevation. Here's just an example. I use all stone and I'll randomize uh, blocks between cobble, smooth stone, stone bricks, and then I'll throw in some half slabs and some walls. It gives it a nice worn and man-made, not so professional look. And these are farmers, they probably didn't have contractors, so that's my thought process going into it. They're gonna be kind of messy walls. Something to keep in mind when you do these, if you have something on the other side of the wall, I like to break it up with bushes and maybe even some fences like this, because otherwise it just seems a little out of place. It's kind of like you're adding a wall on the other side of the wall to break it up and add some depth. And I even like to use these in places outside of the wheat fields in my town whenever there's elevation changes, just to kind of break things up. Number three is these wheelbarrows. Now this isn't my original design. I don't remember where I saw it first, but it is something that I really enjoy. If you're playing before the boats got redesigned, then it works even more because they don't have these silly paddles in them. So it looks kind of silly now uh, in 1.9 and later on. The way that you make it is by having a half slab on the bottom and then these trap doors on the sides with a boat in the middle and then a gate for handles. Now I may be wrong on this, but I believe that you couldn't set trap doors like this prior to 1.9, so maybe it didn't work before the rework of the boats. I may be wrong there though. Number four, if you have a large wood surface such as these docks, mix it up with dirt and gravel and darker sorts of wood. It gives it a dirty, grungy look. This is a farm, it's not a clean place. People have mud on their boots and they're walking around and they're tracking mud everywhere. There's mud between the boards of, of the wood. Change it up, just randomize it, add some grass on the, on the coarse dirt. Something that I like to do when I do this is I concentrate the dirt, the gravel, the darker wood in places that I think would be pathways for people walking. So somebody coming down here might go to the dock here. So that's why it's most concentrated there or they might go to the dock over there, so it's concentrated over here. Number five, this is really a filler detail, something to throw into your towns to add some clutter into spaces that are a little bit empty to make it look lived in. I like to put hay into small spaces. Down here under this stairwell, I just threw in some hay blocks. Over here in this alleyway, I put some hay blocks over there. I put a pile of hay blocks on the streets. Alternatively, like I've done in a different town that I've started building in this world, you can make a building with the sole purpose of storing your hay. Uh, storing your hay in open spaces as opposed to storing them in chests is a great way to add immersion. It fills up a lot of space, it gives you a building with function, and if you keep all of your hay in here instead of in a chest, then it gives you reason to actually come and use it and then you come and pick up the box as you need them. Number six, add workshops. Farmers are working people. They do a lot of things on their own. They make things on their own. They fix things on their own. Personally, I like to design a workshop, design a few of them, two, three, four, and then find the back of a building, such as over here, and slap it on the back. Make it look like that person is a working person. It just adds a new station to the town and breaks up the monotony of the town. Not all your buildings are the same when you have these workshops, and it's easy to add when it's kind of like a template that you just slap on. Number seven, pig pens. Now, this one's not completely finished because I have it, uh, un the water uncovered to show you, but this pig pen is made out of logs, coarse dirt, path blocks, and tilled earth. Because there's tilled earth, you need to have water on the edges, 
which you can cover up with maybe a building or leaf blocks, which is what I would probably do in this situation. The idea is to make it like a muddy pig pen. When you think of pigs, I don't think of them being in a pasture full of grass. This is just something, again, it's a point of interest. Number eight, make your alleyways organic. Each of these farmers might have a home garden and they have vegetables behind their house. Add different kind of vegetables for different houses. Also for those of you working in creative with plugins and such that allow you to do things like this, if you add wheat at different stages of growth or even other vegetables, it adds a lot of immersion and detail. Especially if you do it on large fields like this, where you can get a feel of how it looks if you just plant everything, not everything grows at the same pace. So some things will become golden before they turn brown in this texture pack, which is John Smith. And then it adds a lot of green color and it looks really cool. And number nine, a lot of farmers have horses. So I like to add little personal stables on sides of houses. It's nothing fancy, it's just a little short room. I like to add these little windows, add coarse dirt and gravel inside, and put gates in the front. And finally, number 10, I like to have my main roads be nice cobble roads, but the roads that shoot off, that maybe go to a field or something, I like to make out of dirt. These ones in particular, I may have coarse dirt, path blocks, and gravel, but you could even add leaves into the ground like I do here to make it look like there's weeds or something growing. Or if I'm focusing on lesser traveled roads like alleyways, then I'll mix it in with stone. So that's my 10 tips for those of you who are trying to start out a farming village. Let me know in the comments what kind of villages that you like no detailed tips for. Thank you for watching. Bye.